Hi guys, Mrs. Garrett here. I'm excited to read to you a new book today I got called The Snurch. Let's get started. The Snurch is by Sean Farrell and it's illustrated by Charles Santoso. I was so excited when I got it in the mail. Ruthie has a problem at school. It is not the students. It is not the classroom. It is not the reading or the writing or the math. It is the snurch. Teacher says, Ruthie, please take your seat. There is her seat. And there is the snurch. The snurch is lots of things. Nice is not one of them. The snurch is scribbly and scrunchy. The snurch is grabby and burpy and rude. And the snurch is always with Ruthie. Poor Ruthie. When teacher calls Ruthie, the snurch throws the pencils and Ruthie forgets the question. During recess, the snurch makes rude noises and on and no one wants Ruthie to play. Oh, poor Ruthie. And when everyone draws in art class, the snurch becomes terrible. It hides. It waits. And when teacher asks if anyone wants to share their work, it leaves. It leaps. It grabs. It crumples. It makes sure no one will like Ruthie's drawings. Teacher says, Ruthie, that is not okay. It wasn't me, says Ruthie. It was the snurch. No one has a life as difficult as Ruthie's. Ten whole minutes later, Ruthie tries to draw something pretty or cute or happy, but all that comes out of her crayon is unhappy scribbles. The snurch is no help. Ruthie looks really hard at the snurch. Ruthie draws. Art class ends. Teacher asks if anyone would like to share. No one is more surprised than Ruthie when she stands up. No one except the snurch. I will, says Ruthie. She shows the class her drawing. Her classmates look. It's what throws our pencils, says one. It's what makes weird noises, said another. It is what drew on my drawing, says George. Ruthie knows the snurch wants to run away and hide. I'm sorry about that, says Ruthie. That's okay, says George. And I like your drawing. And then another kid says the same. And another and another until everyone agrees. Ruthie has drawn a wonderful snurch. Ruthie likes school. She likes the students. She likes the classroom. She likes the reading and the writing and the math. And Ruthie likes, and Ruthie still has a snurch. The snurch is still scribbly and scrunchy. The snurch is still burp, burpy and 
grabby, and rude. But the snurch still listens sometimes. And sometimes the snurch is even sorry. And as hard as it is can be to sit next to the snurch, Ruthie realizes she's not alone. George has one too. I like your drawing, says Ruthie. Thanks, says George. Boys and girls, you know what's interesting about this page? It's coming to the realization that all of us at different times have snurches. Even Miss Garrett has a snurch that sometimes makes her grumpy. It might be kind of hard being home all these days and not being able to get out, but I want you to know that if you ever feel that snurch and getting big up in you, just go ahead and draw it. Think about it. Maybe draw a picture of what's making you grumpy, and um, then you can kind of deal with it. Hey, guys, I'm missing you. I hope you enjoyed the story today. Bye.